pronounce you? Husband and wife. Husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. You may kiss the bride. And you may kiss. And you may kiss the husband. <laughs> Hello, my name is Martin Robinson, uh, and this uh, is <laughs> supposedly the story of how Annie and I met. <laughs> to keep my sense of humor through the years, Marty is a puppeteer, and I'm a writer. We met at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center, the National Puppetry Conference, where I was putting on a show, and she was the, uh, the playwright in residence who was, had a, was told, well, we you come to this puppetry conference, maybe we can use you in some way. And uh, she heard my pitch for the show and decided that I desperately needed help. I worked on the play with him, and uh, he was already involved with someone, though, so um, we became good friends. I introduced her to the, uh, to the head writer on Sesame Street, and by the sweat of her own brow, she, uh, she, she became one of the writers on the show. So then we were associated with the, with the, with the show on Sesame Street as well. Where she would write the shows, and we had a deal. I, I would introduce her introduced her to the head writer and she would write shows that involved my characters. <laughs> I vow to be honest with you always and be impeccable with my words to you. I actually asked her. I said, I said, Annie, I think it's time for us to change our relationship. I was always looking over there. And then suddenly for him to say, no, look over here, was really um, totally exciting and terrified me. All right, it's hey! When we went back to the O'Neill Theater Center, we had been you know, going there as work colleagues for years and years. So this was the first time we showed up, and nobody knew that we were dating yet. So Marty announced to everyone at this staff meeting. He's like, okay, I have a big announcement to make. He's like, I just want to say that I'm getting divorced, and Annie and I are dating. And then and that's the news. <laughs> so I was like, Oh boy, it's real! It's real! <laughs> this is happening. We really are dating. We're together. So that was that was very. Um, I remember being very flattered and moved that he took the time to announce it to our friends like that and to the world and saying the relationship has changed and this is what it is. We laugh all the time. He's funny. <laughs> I think she's the funniest thing too. I may speak slowly, but I will always say what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we were together six years before we got married. So, and living together for at least, you know, three or four of them. We were at his mother's family's sort of compound in Michigan. It was a big family reunion going on. I asked her if she would marry me then, and she said yes. So I didn't give her a ring because, you know, I just asked her. So I, uh, we were, I designed the ring later that fall. Dad was born on New Year's Eve, so just Marty and I took my parents out for his 80th birthday on New Year's Eve, and we stayed in Port Jefferson over uh, across the way where my parents live. And so then we let them go to bed and we had sort of a romantic night in this hotel. And I had no idea that he had the engagement ring with him. And he was looking for a time to, to give it to me. And he's looking, and we we're walking around and this room, and I, and I had like, something had happened, I had, my eyes were all swollen. So I was kind of itchy and I was like, this is great, but wow, you know, let's just kind of go to bed for now. You know, I don't, I don't need to stay up past midnight too much. And uh, it's like, okay. And then I was gonna slip the ring on her finger that night. So she woke up with it. So I had it on my pinky, and I kept trying to slip it on her finger, but it wasn't working. Uh, and I thought for sure she saw this big golden ring on my finger at one point, and I hit it under the... So I didn't get it on her that night. Uh, but uh, on, on the ferry the next day, as we were, as we were pulling in, I, I, I got down on one knee and uh, opened the box. And uh, I was like... <laughs> Be blessed with twins. 